Hi, I'm Natasha Antonioni, lifestyle expert and realtor here in Austin, Texas. And if you're curious about all things hip, cool, happening, family, and design related in Austin, stick around and live your dream already. Today I'm here with Leva Sather, founder of Turnstyle Design. One of the things that's really key for me at Turnstyle Design that's built into my philosophy is that we we create homes that are entirely approachable. So they're meant to be, you know, even though a sofa looks pristine and polished, it's built so that you can jump in it and put your feet the up. The dogs can and scratch yes, their nails on have, it. Exactly, but that's a key <laughs> thing, right? Yeah. You can have popcorn and you can have ice cream and you can do all these things. You're supposed to live life. What I do is to create spaces that feel touchable, that make you want to be in them, get involved, and that kind of make you want to be your best self because they remind you of your best self. Mm -hmm. That's the goal. I love to create highly unusual spaces that bring out our best character traits and our individual character traits. Yes, because, uh, and you feel that just sitting oh, in this one you. space. Gosh, thank I love you. being in this office. There's so many things to look at. Let's talk about intentional design. Yes. What does that mean to you? Intentional design is figuring out what it is that you're trying to say and how you can pull yourself through to the aspiration of your lifestyle. Design these days, it's become too much about the aesthetic purely and less about how it feeds us. You need to find that point in how you style your life that feels like it's you not mm -hmm. something that looks good. It has to be, I mean, inherently you. You have kind of an elaborate process when you have a new client that you take them through so that you can get kind of clarity on who they are and how to highlight all these different aspects of themselves. Yes, it is a very personalized process. So when I go into a home, it's my job to steer a client, a homeowner, into something that is actually quite meaningful. People really fall in love with their space when they first choose a house. When you decide to buy, they sort of have this momentum at the beginning and then life gets in the way and they get stuck because they want to make a singular decision and that make that decision and it's sort of not holistically thought of, they're not thinking of the space as a whole and they end up doing Band-Aid and they try and rush it just to finish it. You should really draw it out and it should be a process that you feel like you know, is representative of what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, totally. You can buy a piece because you just want it to feel okay. We ordered these bar stools for our kitchen, but it was the wrong material. So I'm gonna be like slightly irritated for 10 years. But that's exactly right. <laughs> and you know, it's so funny that Roger, because so many people are like that. It's funny how people have this knee-jerk reaction to get that one piece and to your point, not take the time to really process what that means mm -hmm. for them. They end up Indeed, replacing, 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 or finding that it doesn't last, or it you know, feels uncomfortable, or it just is subpar, and it's so not worth the Band-Aid. You end up spending way more money as a waste than you do if you had taken your time and sort of done it correctly the first time. You can buy a piece because you just want it to feel okay, yes. and then you keep replacing, like we keep replacing it because we didn't take the time. That is correct. To bring meaning, like what does that piece actually represent for our life and what does it mean to us? In today's society, we are way too overwhelmed by everything tugging and pulling at us. Compare, compare, compare. You've got to put all that aside. Yeah. You've got to focus again inward and figure out who you are, what's important to you, what makes your little world tick. And those things help inform the decision. It is a luxury and we should consider it a huge uh, benefit to have the opportunity to dedicate ourselves to our space. Whether we have large budgets or small, mm -hmm. it is important that you do it well and do it right so that you feel like you're getting the most out of it. Because at the end of the day, when you go to sleep at night and you feel safe and well in your space, you're gonna wake up with so much off your shoulders. So have fun. That's what life is meant for every day in every way. Let our home charge us up. Just yes. like we charge our phones at night. Love that analogy. You know, yes. let your home charge yes. you up. Yes. Well, thank you so much. My this pleasure. has been so fun. Thanks for having me. Well, if you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button below because we have videos coming out every single week. Whoosh! There you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was good.